So we'll just open one of our uh, previous files. So here you can see there is a set of devices that you can see here. There is a router here, there is a laptop, there is a PC. All of them are connected through multiple number of devices and each of them are connected to each other. So this is how basically a network, a network looks like on a pa on packet tracer. So the other thing that we wanted to look at is this, which is connections. So you can, this is something called auto connect. You can use this to connect two different uh, devices and it will automatically decide which kind of cable is the best. But for example, if you have a router which has ethernet as well as fiber optic ports, you could choose between uh, a fiber optic cable or a ethernet cable to use as a communication medium. Now, going back to the properties that Cisco Packet Tracer has, so one of them is called the modes. So under modes, what we see is there is a real time mode and a simulation mode. Now to see what it means, let's go back to Packet Tracer and see how they are different. So here what you see is a real time mode. In real time mode, communication is happening. But if you switch to simulation mode, it opens a window here. So in this place, if you send a request from any of these laptops to say any of the devices on uh, the network, it will actually show you hop by hop communication of all those packets. So in the simulation mode, you'll be able to trace the entire communication from hop to hop. Whereas in real time mode, you will be able to verify if the communication is on real time. You won't be able to see it instance by instance. This is what is a logical representation of a network.